ridiculous. Ah. Hey y'all, uh, I'm back with another video. Alright, as you saw my situation earlier this morning while I was trying to cook and get my spices and you know, seasonings out of the cabinet. Everything just went all haywire. So what we're going to do today in this video is we're going to make us a pull-out spice rack, so to speak, that will fit between the counter and the refrigerator, still allowing the refrigerator to have enough air circulation. All right, so this is what we got, y'all. Got some wood here, some really, really thin plywood. You see how flimsy that is? But we're going to make it work, okay? All right, so what we're going to start out with, y'all, is just a rectangle with these. And some of them are too long and some of them are too short, but we're going to make it work, okay? So this is basically how it's going to kind of work. That, and then we're going to have one across the top here. And we'll put a few shelves in here for our spices and then maybe some baking pans at the bottom. Because basically, I just wanted um, the area where I have the spices, I just want them to kind of be at the level of the counter and upwards. So I can just easily reach over and pick up whichever spices I need. So that's how we're gonna work this out. Alright y'all, so I know it's not going to be tall enough for what I want, so I'm going to add another 2x6 to the bottom of this, okay? And looky here, we just so happen to have one, and in true scrap wood fashion, this is what we got, okay? And this is what we're going to use, and it's going to be just perfect. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this, and because I want a little bit of a lip there because I got some plans for that. So what we're gonna do is just clamp this together. I'll just put some screws in there. All right, y'all, so this is basically how it's going to fit in here. But as you can see, it's going to be a little short. And remember I said I wanted my spices to kind of start right here so I can just reach over and get them. Well, what I'm gonna do is put probably another uh, two by four down there and that'll give it a, an inch and a half. And then I have some casters that are one and a half inches. So that'll give me a good three inches more in height. So we'll see how that works out. All right, y'all, so to put the little wheels the little casters on there all I did was took this block and screwed it into the base and then I just marked out right here and I'm just gonna put these casters on there and I'm using these screws right here because it's all I got and so when that's all you got that's what you use Maybe put it in correctly. y'all so now that we've made that change put our casters on there i believe this is going to fit quite well now nah, just get no too old for that so let's see how it fits in there cool i will have enough room for my spices all right people i'm back same day i had to change my shirt because i was being a pig dropped some stuff all over my top so all right, so now what we want to do is put some shells in this. I've already cut this, and so what I'm going to do is just measure this up against some other wood, and we're going to make those cuts, okay? All 
All right, y'all, let's see how we did. Of course, they're gonna need a little teeny tiny bit of work. Now that going. Now, that's gonna be our shelving. I may need to have to cut another one, but if I do, that's fine. All right, so I gotta see how we're gonna orientate this. So I got my little pan and I got my spices. So I need to decide how tall the shells are gonna be. Everybody know about that. Gotta, gotta have that. Ooh, yes. I like it spicy. Now, y'all, yeah, got both sides screwed in. Um, they may not be as level and as pretty as they should be, but it's fine. So we're gonna turn this over now. And we're gonna add this back to it. I put these down so that it would give me that recess. As y'all know, I can't draw a straight line. So, I'm gonna do the best we can right here. Let's see how it did. Let's see if it comes up. Ah, no. How about this? I see a few places where those long nails came through. That's why I changed it to the shorter ones. But other than that, it's a good job. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just measure up one inch. Uh, let's see, maybe one and a half inches. Probably would help if I had my glasses. What do you think? And then this is how we're gonna sit these in here. And this is just to keep stuff from falling out, basically. All right, y'all, check this out. This is what I was trying to get in here to get to. Oh yeah, that is gonna be some good eating. This is what I was doing when I was dropping all the seasonings and spices and stuff. Got me some good old southern cornbread to go with that too. All right, y'all. Back to the spice rack build. I 
All right, y'all. Good morning. Our little spice rack is coming along. Now, I want to do a couple of little cuts across here because I don't like this little pointed edge. So I'm just going to use my little saw. Since it's so early in the morning, I don't want to wake up my neighbors. I don't want them to start complaining. Just eyeing it. Hey, y'all. Now, this is the top board, and you know I don't like sharp edges, so I'm going to cut that off. our little holes here they are not perfect i think this is the only one that's kind of cute the drill bit skipped around on me a little bit so i got them a little too close to the edge but you know what it's all gonna work out i'm gonna take some sandpaper and sand this out and kind of make it look a little bit better but as for now it'll work Now, y'all, I want to clean up this a little bit. It's not really necessary, but I'm going to sand it up a little teeny bit. And then what I want to do is take some of this here. And, you know, make the face of it look a little bit cuter. All right. All right, y'all, so I got my saw at a 22.5 degree angle. We're gonna cut this and see if I need to make any adjustments, okay? Now this part ain't so bad. I mean, I got to sand that a little bit, but what's gonna tell is how I make my other cuts. Okay, five and three quarter inches. All right, y'all, I changed my saw to 45 degrees, and this still does not fit, so I had to break out my coping saw. And what I'm gonna do is take off a little bit of this, and you see how that burnt it. So all I'm gonna do is try to get this saw here. Now, this is my first time doing this, y'all, so we're going to see if it works. Maybe not. All right, y'all, that's kind of ugly, so let's go see if it fits, okay? Y'all, we got the spice rack done. Okay, I'm gonna just pull it out right quick, show y'all some stuff. Yay! All right, so we got pans down here, quite a few of them. Easy to get out. All my 
sauces and everything, spices. These are the most commonly used ones. So that's why I wanted them about. What is, what is this? These are the ones I use most often. So that's why I want them countertop height. So everything works out. These sit up here pretty good. Of course, that's too big to be on there. Um, I just put that there. Got my little measuring cups, all the stuff that I need. And of course, lice spicy. All right, got a few hooks on here, y'all. You wanna turn it out here? I don't have a handle, I just pull it out with this. Got my little oven mitts. Of course, that's my little spot for my old bay. We're just gonna flip this around right quick. Nothing major. Put a little, you know, a little hanging hooks here and spatula, spoon, and then one of the pans that I use quite often. So it's right here, available to me, and I love it. Now, question for y'all. Tell me in the comments, uh, would you paint it? Would you stain it? Or what? What would you do to make it better? Because right now, I'm just going to leave it just like this. All right? See how easy it is to just grab something out of there? And then just slide it back in there. All right, and while I'm standing here cooking, just reach over here and get what I want. Reach up here. Get what I want. It's all so simple. Yes. I'm loving it. Huh. Now, it could have been a little taller, but that's okay. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked this video about the spice rack. It was a necessity, and so I solved the problem. All right. If you found any kind of value in this video, give me a thumbs up. All right. And also, think about subscribing to the channel because I'm always doing some kind of stuff like this. And as you know, I made this all out of scrap wood. All right. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Love y'all. See you on the next one.